Hi everyone, Katie Lee CGC here and welcome to my channel. Today is a book review day and today I'll be reviewing Waves. Um, it's written by Ingrid Chabert and illustrated by Carol Morrill. It is a beautiful graphic novel about stillbirth and infertility and I really recommend it. I got it from the library. As you can see, I'm a big lab library fan, but I wouldn't mind having this on my bookshelf. It's a really quick read, like most graphic novels. You can take in the pictures and read all of the text in probably about 30 minutes or so. Um, I wanted to read an excerpt from the beginning of the book, I'll just show you a sample of the illustrations because they're beautiful. Um, and this really resonated with me. So this is the woman who is carrying the pregnancy and the couple. Um, she's drowning in the sea and the sea looks like it's a sea of blood, which um, as you read her story about her stillbirth, you'll find out that bleeding was definitely the sign that things weren't going as they should be. And I can just relate to that from my miscarriages that the blood is, it's such a sign that things are going wrong in a pregnancy, even though it can be normal. And it's like your body's almost betraying you because you're doing everything you can to carry a pregnancy normally. And no matter what, you just, you start bleeding and you can't stop it. Oftentimes, if, if what's going to happen is a miscarriage. So the author writes, sometimes we drown drinking in the sea, a sea as red as a heart that stopped beating. We look up from an underwater crossroads, return to the surface or let go. So this couple has been struggling with infertility and they conceive again, but um, the person carrying the pregnancy has bleeding and ends up having a stillbirth. Um, she delivers the baby in what looks like a labor and delivery unit where there's, you know, other crying babies and families celebrating the birth of babies. And what I've heard from many women who have that experience is it's just awful. There are some clinics and hospitals that have separate units for moms and families who are having stillborn babies or miscarriages, but many, many don't. So I think this book, it just depicts so many of the things that are true of people going through miscarriages and what I would assume is true when you go through having a stillborn baby. I've not been through that myself, but um, the author or the main character in the book is having recurring nightmares. And sometimes she's lying to her partner that she had an okay night and she didn't have nightmares when she is. Um, after they have the baby, it depicts them meeting and holding the stillborn baby for the first time and a nurse offering to take pictures for her of the baby, um, her time in the hospital, her partner trying to be supportive and hold her up but not know how all the time. Um, like she forgets clothes for the baby that they want to dress her in, but she's there in every way that she can be bringing her a new journal, bringing her an outfit um, to wear in the hospital that's more comfortable than the gown. But even with the support, you know, she's the woman who lost the pregnancy, who had that stillbirth is is drowning and her partner's having a hard time, too. But she's just she's trying to support um her partner throughout the loss. And as the book goes on, the woman who has the pregnancy loss is decides she wants to be a, um, she wants to write books for children. And I thought the end of the book, I won't ruin it, but it's, it's really, really sweet. And I especially like this book because it doesn't end with having another pregnancy or having a baby. It ends in a different way. And I know that's the reality for many people who experience pregnancy loss that they don't end up having a baby or another pregnancy. And I like this alternative ending to just getting pregnant or um, maybe having a baby in a different way because it resonated with me. I don't know how my story is going to end, but I know it's possible. I might never have another child, whether it's biologic or through adoption or through something else. And in this story, you could tell while the author or the main character is struggling, she finds a way to um, make peace with the struggle and make meaning of the struggle besides having another child. 
So I highly recommend this book, Waves, this graphic novel. If you're somebody who hasn't tried graphic novels before, give it a try. I mean, there's nothing to lose. It's such a quick, quick read. The illustrations really are beautiful and they just, I could feel my pain and the author's pain in the illustrations um, and also kind of the evolution of the different stages of grief and her sorrow. Um, so I recommend it. I'd give it a five out of five for a miscarriage read. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, let me know if you read it, uh, what, uh, what your thoughts are about the book and if you have any questions for me. Bye.